Hi girls, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something super, super motivational, uplifting, and hopefully inspiring. And will actually make you really have the the motivation to want to improve yourself and you just want to be amazing and just be that girl. So if you want to do all of those things, then keep on watching. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for more self-improvement videos like this. So let's get into this topic. So I've been asked so many times, Ziva, <laughs> Sarah, whatever, how do you improve yourself? You have changed so much since you started your channel. Seeing the improvement is very inspiring, but how do I do it? <laughs> so I'm going to give you the tea in this video and let, let's do it. The first way that I have changed from me a few years ago to now, there has been a big change in who I am and how I carry myself, how I look, how I sound. There have been lots of improvements. So I personally would say if anybody's wanting to start to be the best version of themselves, the first thing that you have to do is make a choice and you have to choose to be this new person who you want to become. Come. that's the first thing you have to do is make that choice and it's the first thing that you have to do if you want to excel in a career you have to make that choice to do that if you want to start putting away money for a deposit for a property you have to make that choice to do that if you want to have a baby then you have to plan and make that choice to do that if you want to lose weight or gain weight then you have to plan and make that choice to be committed to that so at the end of the day making the choice is the fundamental step and the foundation to any self-improvement and any new change in our lives so that's the first thing that has to be done is for a choice to be made and when you make that choice you then need to commit yourself to it and be dedicated to this new person who you have now become. Granted, initially, when you're thinking to yourself, who is this woman I want to be? I want to be sexy. I want to be beautiful. I want to be pretty. I want to be fun to be around. I want to be happy. I want to be smiley. I want to be a good sister. I want to be a good daughter. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to be eye-catching to men. I want to be uplifting to other women. I really could go on and on and on because there are so many different improvements or different ways that you may want to change yourself and better better yourself but you have to know what it is that you want and like I was saying granted initially you're going to feel fake because you are internally telling yourself with affirmations that you are this person but on the outside you're still not that person yet which is where the commitment comes in and dedication so from this point moving forward you are now committed and dedicated to doing this you wake up in the morning and you make yourself look the best that you can look that day. That is what you do. You dress for where you're going, so don't be wearing a ball gown if you're going to the market for fruit and veg or if you're going to Sainsbury's. Don't be wearing this if you're going, you know, to a cafe or something. So you have to dress for where you're going, time and place as well, and to your out with, you know, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, you've got to start putting your best foot forward because lots of the improvement, when it's external for women, when you've changed yourself externally, it can then help to filter through to you internally as well. And it just helps to uplift you initially. Let's just say you're the type of woman, you wake up every morning, you feel like you look completely drab and you get ready, you go to work or you get ready and you run your errands and you're just wearing the stuff that you would still be wearing as home clothes around the house that is unacceptable so you're essentially wearing house clothes but you're going to wear your house clothes out in the street we don't do that anymore okay when i say we i mean me and you we don't do that anymore so if you are about to take yourself outside, and this is something that I do, if I am leaving my house, I am going to look very presentable. So you still have to dress for time and the place that you're going to at the end of the day, but we no longer wear things that we would wear as home clothes when we leave the house. 
since I have been asked how have I actually changed my appearance so let's speak about the change in my appearance I do have filler in my cheeks but I wouldn't say that that really makes a difference like a big difference at all to my face I have a tiny 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 amount of cheek filler it really hasn't made a difference it's very very subtle um the main difference to my face has been the filler the bridge of my nose that's the main thing and also doing my makeup differently those are the main things that have actually changed my appearance I would definitely say and also overlining my lips those are the main things that I have done to change my actual face I've changed my brows I'm overlining my lips and I do have the filler here to get rid of the bump that I had that I have if I don't have the filler there basically so those are the main things um, changes that I've made and also I do my hair very differently now um, my forehead looks smaller when I'm wearing a wig and also a little bit of weight loss since I started my channel just a little bit maybe half a stone so I would say that they are the main differences to my overall look so let's kind of recap a little bit so you've woken up and this time you have put your best foot forward you've put on your lovely clothes you've done your makeup you've made yourself look good nice underwear nice bra on fresh pair of socks and you know you've got your shoes on and now you're out the door and you know you're wearing your nice bag you're wearing your nice bag not your old raggedy one from 11 years ago you're wearing something that actually makes you feel good about yourself and makes you feel like if I ran into my ex today he would be sorry I wouldn't feel embarrassed he would be sorry if I ran into my future boyfriend today he would need to reproach me he would need to actually approach me today so that's how you want to feel when you're leaving your house and if you're not feeling that way yet then maybe try to spruce something up and try to change something even though some days we just have off days where everything you do doesn't work your hair's not working blah 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 we all have those days but most of the time you can change something tweak something change your outfit and make yourself feel better and something that I personally realize is that sometimes I feel like something that I'm doing is not working and if I wear a top that is maybe a bit more low cut it opens it opens me up uh, <laughs> right I don't know how to explain that but sometimes I feel like just changing the cut of your top can make a big difference to um, how things are looking for you and how, how things work on your body <laughs> as well as you now wearing these nice clothes wearing your your best wearing your nice makeup you know and doing those things it's also about wearing the new person who you are as well if you're now wanting to improve your voice control if you want to have better diction if you want to sound a bit softer maybe you want your voice to just sound more friendly you want to sound more approachable you could be changing your voice for so many different reasons but the same way that you put your clothes on and you dress yourself in that way you're you're going to wear the voice that you want as well and you're going to do this on a daily basis so when you wake up you are now wearing what you want and you're sounding how you want that is kind of what it's about play about with your makeup try different things change your brows to see to change your eyebrows to see how it frames your face differently overline your lips one day don't overline them the next day and see the difference see how you feel about yourself take some pictures see what looks better did it did I look better when I had my lips overlined when I didn't have them overlined what actually suited me more sometimes when you actually take a picture or you record yourself in a video it helps you to see how you really look as opposed to just looking in the mirror because you're programmed to just be used to to that so sometimes it helps to record yourself or to take a photo and then you see how you really look <laughs> so maybe try that out the next thing I want to say is to really be selective with what you are putting on your body if you would wear something or have a certain hairstyle when you are 70 years 
old and I've said this before if you would wear it or rock it at 70 you should not be wearing it today unless you are 70 years old you shouldn't be wearing it today so if you're on my channel you shouldn't be wearing something that you would wear if you were 70 years old now for me personally that is you know those bobs that just go <laughs> that's one of those um i would i would have a bob like that when i'm 70 probably maybe so i can't do it today I actually did a bob when I was in college um so I must have been about 16 when I did this bob and I remember it was like a chocolate brown bob and it aged me about 10 years I remember that and it, it was actually a sew-in I had that in for maybe five days and then I had that thing out and that was so embarrassing yeah I really hated that bob and that has put me off of bobs now let's be very clear because some of you might have shoulder length hair or hair that is bob length if you have a bob and you're wearing your natural hair you don't like adding in extensions and you you like that length whatever then just make sure it's not an older looking style so you've styled it in a way that it looks more youthful i've seen some nice bobs where it's a bob in length but the style is like wavy and it just looks like um some of them can look really good as long as it's something that you would not wear at 70 years old then go for it um the same thing goes with outfits dressing lots of people are so scared to look sexy and i was like that before i didn't want that attention but at the end of the day now i kind of embrace it and women are going to be looking some women are not going to understand it some women are going to be jealous that you're doing that other women are going to be thinking that you know their man is watching you or whatever's happening um some women are going to think that it's great that you're wearing what you want to wear i don't think it's a bad thing for you to have an element of sex appeal in your outfits that is something that i have changed in the way that i dress the things that i buy i want there to always be an element of oh <laughs> to it you know even if it's just oh i can see her waist or i can see the sides of her waist or maybe i'm wearing a turtleneck but i'm wearing one of those you know the soft bras i love wearing those because they're so comfortable um i don't know why i'm doing this sorry but let's just say i was wearing a soft bra and a turtleneck you can still see the shape of you know you can still see the shape so at the end of the day you don't have to put it all on show to still be showing the female form which is obviously very appealing to men make sure that you always have your nails done um nails make a really big difference i see lots of women they look amazing head to toe and then they've got these chewed up bitten nails that are about that no you do not have to have fake nails i have my own nails and you don't have to grow them out ridiculously long you can keep them kind of short if you want to make sure that they are painted and it doesn't take long to paint your nails you could be watching an episode of something that you love a series that you're watching and you could paint your nails and let them dry while you're watching that episode this was a really quick video but i just wanted to tell you the key things that i have done to change myself my appearance and myself vocally as well it's the voice control it's the things i'm wearing having an element of sex appeal in every single outfit i wear and like i said it could just be that i'm wearing a tight fitting turtleneck but for me that's still an element of sex appeal or it could be something like this <laughs> where it really is it, it's really out there and of course makeup working on your walk smelling yummy and delicious as well all of these things make you be just a walking human edible creature so if you want to be an edible 
walking creature, then try to implement these points that I've made. Wake up tomorrow, put your best foot forward. But on that note, ladies, I'm going to love you and leave you here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and really just quick, short and sweet, straight to the point but uplifting and i hope that tomorrow you wake up full of full of beans and ready to put your best foot forward this is what this video is supposed to do to give you that motivation so i'll see you in my next video